Sometimes we know enough about an image to geo-reference it in a faster manner than other images. In Geographic Imager, we call this type of geo-referencing a quick geo-reference. Quick geo-reference is a method of geo-referencing images that requires two conditions to be met. The first is that the image is not rotated. In other words, this means that True North is oriented at the top of the page. The second condition is that there are two control points on the image that are known. However, these points cannot be aligned on either the X or Y axis. This tutorial will show an example of quick georeferencing. The image that we are using in this demonstration is called America's underscore four dot TIFF, which can be found in the tutorial data folder. So now that I've imported my image to Geographic Imager, I can confirm that it is aligned with True North. The first thing I want to do is open the Geographic Imager panel. And I can confirm here that there is no reference file associated with this TIFF, so that means that I'm going to have to georeference it myself. To do that, I want to click the georeference button, which is the first one here in the panel, and it will open up this window. Now I want to click the Add Control Point button to add a control point. I can click anywhere on the image viewer to add a point, because I'm going to adjust it later. Point 1 will be added to the control point list, and then I can adjust the pixel coordinates, which are the PX and PY values, which are the coordinates for the points on the image. I'm going to double click here and adjust the PX value to 599 and the PY value to 0. Now I want to set the world coordinates that correspond to the pixel coordinates I just entered. I can double click in the coordinate system WX or WY values to open up the edit location window. Here I want to select the WGS84 coordinate system and I'm fine with decimal degrees so I'm going to leave that and I want to enter a latitude value of 35.917 and a longitude value of negative 50.064. These are the world coordinates that correspond to the pixel coordinates on my image. I can now see that the world coordinates have been updated in the control point list. Now I want to add my second point, so I can do this the same way that I did my first point. And I want to add a PX value of 0 and a PY value of 456. And then in the same way as before, I want to double click on my WXY to open up the editor and I'm going to enter my latitude and longitude values. My latitude value is 6.731 and my longitude value is negative 88.417. And there we go. Now that I have added my two necessary control points to the image, I'm ready to quick georeference my image. I want to click the Specify link next to Image Coordinate System to open up the Choose Coordinate System window. I can see that no coordinate system has been specified, so I want to click that. And I'm going to go to Geodetic World and scroll down to WGS84. Back in the GeoReference dialog box, I want to select the Quick GeoReference button, which is the lightning bolt. And from the drop-down list, I want to select by two reference points north-south aligned. You will notice that an additional control point has been automatically added to the control point list and image view. Its world coordinates were calculated based on the existing two control point pairs. This occurs because a minimum of three control points are required to georeference an image. It is also why the two control points that we selected must not align. To complete the quick georeference, you simply click OK in this window, and voila! You can see that the reference information has appeared in the Geographic Imager panel, and you can also find further details in the General panel. I hope this tutorial was helpful, and thanks for watching.